So this storm today, actually, I was a bit worried because it picked up and the winds and the rain, it was pretty intense there for a little bit. Uh, they, the tornado warnings up until 5 p.m. Now it's still 8 p.m. here in Anderson County, South Carolina. I'm going to bring you to some articles to show you the casualties and the destruction of this. Well, now it seems on a regular basis, we have storms coming from the Gulf of Mexico all the way into Canada. And now, wow, this thing is so far south of Florida. And you can see all the high frequency heating taking place. What's the jet stream doing here? Okay, so we have the jet stream going on up here, but it splits off and we've got now two. And this is going down south and then it circles around. Oh, I guess they're maybe creating another land cyclone, another bomb cyclone. Yes, all of this. Oh, it, it Nothing new, really. Our mainstream meteorologists never mentioning that these things never occurred before. Can you see all of the microwaves right here? Our country is so saturated with microwaves. You can see them oh, right on up here. And just in case you can't see them, let me bring you up here to the northwest. We're fried. We are being so unbelievably cooked. Our country is now a microwave oven. What is our jet stream doing? Don't know. But it's clearly not quite right how it is splitting off its... Well, it seems to be kind of stretching and then it goes up north and then south. Can you see the microwaves operating on the periphery? What are you doing? What are you doing? The door is open. Sorry, my cat was hitting the um, blind, which means that they want to go out, but the door is wide open. Okay, some of the cats were a little weird today. Um, yeah, I'll be posting a video on what I have observed, certainly in, well, California and South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. The frequencies have been very intense and ongoing. Well, you can see them still blasting away. I never seen this before. The expanse of these frequencies, the coverage is, I've never seen this before. And now they seem to be lessening a little bit, but I'm going to show you what I've captured and go through some documents how, yep, they can lock these frequencies onto your brain and make you feel certain things with specific frequencies. But this is weather related, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. Uh, and our meteorologists are, oh, hush, hush. We ain't going to talk about this. It splits off right here. You can see it split. And are they creating just more and more uh, rain flooding, microbursts for the south? I don't know, but it's it's really... I wish I could say it's getting old, you know? 
it doesn't get old because more and more people are having to suffer the consequences of this. And that is what really pisses me off. How are you guys in Florida, in Georgia, in Mississippi, in Texas, in Alabama, in South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia? Um, did you see the intersecting harp next ride rings? You know, I've been doing this for eight years. I apologize because um, I go through things very quickly, but I can't. Look, I have a playlist, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're going to have to do a little bit of research. I have a weather modification playlist, a geoengineering playlist. I have a uh, 5G, a Wi-Fi, extremely low frequency playlist. So it's all there. I can't go through everything in every video. But here you have the intersecting harp next ride rings the high frequency heating of the ionosphere and these uh, you know the intensity with which they shoot these high frequency high frequencies up to the ionosphere and they bounce back down to earth modulated as extremely low frequencies what are they doing to the earth they're loosening they're loosening the earth so that's another reason i believe so many trees are unable to withstand these winds. And you see a lot of these telephone poles that are coming down. We didn't see this before, okay? And it's not global warming climate change, okay? I, I <laughs> please, get off that lie but I do believe that they are bringing about these storms. But maybe they're losing patience. Maybe they're ramping up everything and they just have to, you know, get people, um, well, in survival mode, which that happens, you know, when your house is gone and your child is dead, five fatalities confirmed as severe outbreak brings tornadoes flooding from Florida to Virginia. The latest fatality, an incident involving hydroplaning, it was a traffic accident. Isn't it interesting that we see these huge tractor trailers hydroplaning and cars hydroplaning? No, we didn't see this before. But they can create microbursts. They can create winds that could lift uh, these tractor trailers. Do some research on scalar technology and that is also on my playlist so uh, a girl eight years old dead in Leon County Florida a tree fell into the house in Woodville destroyed the house 12 year old boy who is injured he with her another 42 year old woman was killed Thursday a tree fell on her home that was in St. Clara County, Alabama. And guess what? Her 10-year-old son was home. He has minor injuries, but he no longer has a mother. Weather warfare. Doesn't this piss you off? Okay, a 10-year-old boy now no longer has a mother. And you see all of these frequencies. So this is called murder. It's not called, oh, an incident due to weather. 24-year-old Kendrick McGee killed while driving in the severe weather. A tree fell onto a vehicle, another person dead. Widespread power outages spread through Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, oh, Mississippi, and Alabama and Texas. 200,000 people without power. You know, it gets, it gets a little much, you know. They were saying that tree limbs were scattered all over the interstate, South Carolina, North Carolina. 
But when you see these pictures, look at the fungal disease on this tree. Geoengineering. Oh, yeah. It's not contrails, okay? The radical changes. When you look above, if you can, oh, well, spare a few minutes from that cell phone, you can see all of the spraying of the toxic chemicals and heavy metals that come on down. We're breathing it, and so are the trees. It gets into the soil, and the tree's immune system is affected. They're weak and they're falling all over. I had a neighbor tell me, I didn't even know this, a neighbor told me that a tree had fallen on her apartment and came through her roof. I didn't even know this. Here, right here in this apartment complex. So, so much is happening that we don't ever know. But when you... When I look at this and I see the straight edge, you know, I have also a chemtrail geoengineering playlist and a video that I took watching the construction of a thunderstorm here in South Carolina. The cloud just morphed. It didn't roll in. Remember the clouds used to roll in? We could see them. It got darker and darker. Boom, we had a thunderstorm and lightning. And then when they rolled away, ah, the brilliant blue of the sky, the fresh air, that doesn't happen anymore. Now, when we're done with the thunderstorms, what do we see? We see a lot of black clouds, white clouds, and a white sky. So I have a video of the creation of a thunder cloud that I watch take place right before my very eyes. And look, they're not hiding a friggin' thing anymore. You know, you can see all of the geoengineering taking place. God. Hell. Hell protection now. Baseball sized hell that is destroying cars. That is happening more frequently. Yeah, we're living something that is so unprecedented, the radical changes that have taken place, and yet we're surrounded by people who are, yes, I'm sorry to say this, brain dead. A trail of damage across Florida. Why? Because of trees coming down. Trees coming down. Downed power lines. Jacksonville. More people. The, 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 the numbers are just increasing every single day. People losing their homes. Losing everything. Um, losing life. Well... My computer hasn't been working very well today because of the storm. So here, two homes destroyed in Franklin County, Virginia. Uh, tree limbs, debris, flying all over. Quarter-sized hail, flying debris. We're, we're, we're living this now. Almost, it's like... Considering all of the flooding in Kansas and Nebraska and South Dakota, all of that damage. I mean, when you really think about just even in the start of January 2018, all of the flash flooding. And yes, I have a playlist on that. U.S. flooding. The amount of flash flooding that was occurring. Now we seem to be having these... Uh, Tornadoes. This is this is in part to cement in people's brains climate change and we've got to do something. We have to do something drastic because well if we don't this will continue. 
the destruction of people's homes. We've got to get them out of the area. That's right. Because, you, you know, there's just too many people and they are living in areas where they should not be living. Sorry. Well, we lived there for decades and decades without this destruction, but now we're told you're living in the wrong area and you need to leave. This is all Agenda 2030, but people just don't know. Look, I'm going to link below to this. Um, the power company outages, which uh, you've got Duke Energy, you've got Ocala Power, Ocala, Orlando Utilities. The power outages are widespread. But this is just for Florida. I really hope. I really hope that you know, we've seen communities just be completely destroyed and everybody is just pretty much on their own, right? But when these uh, disasters hit, I really hope that everybody comes together in their community. Now it's pouring rain again. I'm watching <laughs> Buster, one of my cats, is making a beeline out of the rain. Yeah. This is what it is, all right? This is what it is. This is what we have. This is just not going to stop. This is not going to stop. But, yeah, it's really hard. When you see something like this happening with the jet stream, you really, um, you got to wonder, Maybe the mainstream meteorologists are not human. Even if they are, if they were born, you know, human, they became subhuman. You know, you think they're, they don't know about the destruction? You think they really don't know about weather modification? Okay, so there is some kind of powerful frequency happening right here, which is, is this Tennessee? Yes, and there the there's a radar, Doppler radar, extremely low frequencies emitted right up. Is it Moorhead? I don't know. I can't remember the, the name. But very often you see powerful, extremely low frequencies being set off right here. So watch this it just blows away going up oh no you're not we're going to split you in two all right all links are below and i hope everybody all of my subscribers are okay let us know florida georgia south carolina north carolina virginia texas mississippi alabama how are you guys doing